Hey guys, it's me, Vix123, and welcome to UHC Ultra Hardcore. This is a uh, tournament mini game in which myself and these 10 or so other players spawn into a randomly generated 2000 by 2000 Minecraft world which will shrink in size. They have no health regeneration, only way to regen hearts is via golden apples. And uh, the last person surviving wins. We're playing solo this season. This is actually, I think, maybe the eighth season of this on my uh, channel. So be sure to check out the previous series or seasons uh, if you like um, before we get into this one right here. Swamps are actually great places to start off because uh, swamp trees, I say swamp trees, yeah swamp trees, we'll call them swamp trees, um, have a pretty high yield for dropping um, dropping apples, which is all good. <laughs> Kenny says TP me away from this area, it sucks. Wow. Okay, you know, I'm just going to drop straight into here. I'm glad that wasn't a bad decision. Just get straight involved in the stone down here. Just hoping maybe we'd luck out some iron or some other resources around the area. But no, no, no. So, yeah, the way this works, the only way to regen is with golden apples, which I'm going to try and get from the swamp. Above what height are we at here? We are... We are... Oh, yeah, it's, it's sea level, pretty much, just to check. Um, we've got a desert around. Maybe I'll have a little scope around the villages or desert temples. But realistically, I want to get enchanting book... Uh, enchanting book, enchanting table materials as quick as possible, full iron, some food, and then just get on the offensive. So, uh, there. There we go. The server is speaking to us, the evil UHC server. And this is all recorded in one straight take. So, there'll be episodes every other day. There will be 20 minute episodes, and they will be, like I say, every other day. And uh, until, until I die, and at that point, the series is indefinitely over for me. I'm out, I'm dead, that's it. No respawning, no nothing. And pretty much the last person surviving wins. So let's uh, let's get up and out of here. Probably should have brought my crafting table or some spare stone. All right, let's tear down a couple of these bad boys. Hopefully get some apple drops when I return. And uh, just have a little look around for food and reeds being the two key things to get. And the world border shrinks, so I think something like 200 blocks every episode. Food-wise, actually, I can use the mushrooms to make a bunch of mushroom uh, soup. Or stew, which will be fine for the first, for the beginning. Actually, I might get a ton of apple drops here as well. Maybe I'll get enough apple drops to even get myself some, uh, some just apples to eat. Even though usually they're safe for golden apples for regen. That sort of thing. And I'm uh, going to be honest, spoiler alert for previous UHCs coming in here. Oi, that spider. Don't want to mess with the spider. No, I just straight up don't. I don't. I just don't. I just don't right now. Uh, any damage I take, like I say, will be with me. For the rest of the time, and uh, even up to the point that maybe I'll die. And yeah, so previous season of UHC, I'm, I'm going to be honest, recently I haven't been doing too well in UHC. Maybe that's because I'm not that good at UHC. Maybe that's because I've been unlucky. Maybe it's a combination of both. But uh, I'm going to try my best, as I always do, and we'll see where it takes us. I think I know all the mechanics and the strategies for the most part of UHC to the fullest. I don't have as much experience with it as other people in this game right here. Um, but hopefully that shouldn't matter too much. In terms of PvP, I like to think I'm fairly proficient. Ooh, Ravine's gonna be good. Actually, we're near the world border, it's just there. Okay, that's worth keeping an eye out for. Right, let's see if we can find any reeds or cows for leather slash food. Those are the main ones. Oh, apples for days. This is why we turn out a swamp. Swamp trees have the highest rate for dropping apple per leaf block. Um, of any tree on Minecraft. Although it seems to be just that one. Oh no, there's some apple here as well. Let's carve you up. And now let's look for some reeds. Uh, there's surely going to be some down this water somewhere. How many apples? We have three apples. That's huge. Don't particularly want to be sprinting around here. But not as if I have much choice. So I just want to quickly scout the area. Um, I mean, I say I don't have much choice. It's just I want to kind of be productive. Fortunately, I do have a good food source to my right. So with that said, any reeds? That is strange. You would expect there to be reeds in an area like this. So I have one little look up this hilltop here. Is there nothing? By the way, I have reeds. Not even down at this water here. Okay, that is weird. So no paper for me, no enchanting books. At an early start. Now let's go back to the area where the leaves will be despawning. I want to be careful. I don't even take falling damage. That would be bad as well. Probably want to get in that ravine um, once I've got some food made. I've got probably enough apples at this stage, honestly. So let's get just get a bunch of mushrooms. These will be my my reliable source of food. So if I can break through a couple of them nice and quickly. I think I broke enough trees as well. 
Got a bunch of red. Probably need to focus more on some brown ones from here. If we see any. Uh, it doesn't look like... Oh, cows. Perfecto and chickens. Beautiful. Beautiful. Got to keep an eye out for the spiders, but don't seem to be around. So this is good. Don't run away, cow. I'm going to kill everything. XP and food. And leather, hopefully. Two cows as well. Now, this is a little bit of a spoiler for the last season of UHC with myself and Preston. But um, chickens are really good. We actually couldn't find any, obviously, making arrows. Would have been useful last season, that's all I'll say. Another kind of, oh yes, there's a shooting cane, but it's not enough to make, it's not enough to make a, whatchamacallit, a, some paper for an enchanted book, so I may wait for it to grow. That's what I may do here. Unless we find ourselves some more things. It's quite moody and dark around here, so I want to be careful that you get the random skeleton spawning. He could wreck my day. Could probably about four hit me at my current state. Damn, I need the sugar cane real bad. Can it even grow there? I'm not sure. I don't think it can it. I'm not sure it even can. Let's trim this tree just so it has space to grow into. I don't know. Maybe I take it underground and grow it with me. I'm kind of waiting on that there. What's this ravine looking like? Ravine's looking good. I see a creeper at the bottom. Now, probably the easiest way to get into here is just going to be to... Should have had a shovel for this, honestly. It's going to be just to dig a little root in, like so. Lighting's a bit bugged up, but we won't worry too much about that. Surely there's going to be more reeds around here. I like to read, and I like to write, and I like to smite my enemies in the UHC. That's the, that's the hope. That's the hope, at least. Chicken for days, so good food. More ravine? I'm not sure if it's the same one or not. Are you serious? There's just two bits of reed around here. I am learning to read or write. I think, honestly, it's more likely to grow um, when it's existingly planted. I'm cons I was considering going underground and bringing it with me, planting some sand or dirt under... Oh, there we go. More. Beautiful. I think I'm just going to eat some of this straight up just because don't really want to be worrying too much about cooking up or crafting soup right now. I just want to get that sugar cane, then get underground. That is the aim here. Sprinting is not usually advisable unless you're in a hurry. That much probably goes without saying. Two there. Yeah, if we get two at the other, we'll have... Do we get... Do we... I didn't get any leather. That's a joke. Kill two cows, no leathers. I'm pretty sure I didn't leave it on the floor. If I did, I'm a massive facepalm kid. But I don't think I did. So that's uh, that. Also, one thing to keep in mind, this is all recorded in one straight session. One, you know, full recording um, straight. So, any, you know, you can, like, obviously you can watch it from multiple points of view and kind of give me advice and that sort of thing. But it, this is all posted kind of after the fact, after it's happened. So there's not too much point in doing that. And it's all recorded in one session, so I don't get any breaks. So towards the end, you know, I may be a little more serious. This is pretty much play to win. I may be a little more serious. Oh, come on, please, please, cow. So many mobs. So good. Are you serious? I've killed three cows and got no leather. Unbelievable. And before I just get like punched in by a chicken. Let's just get as much of this as we can. I'm honestly tempted to look for another cow. I can't believe I've killed three cows and received no leather. That is real rough. Wonder if there's gonna be any more around here somewhere. Come on, cows. I am your friend. I'm oh, not really. I just need them for their leather. I guess we have to call it there for uh, as far as... Oh, I really want to get this enchanting table before I go underground. It would be really nice to have. Uh, not good. I'm, I'm shocked. Usually one cow's enough to get the leather. I'm just checking. I don't actually have it in my inventory. I'm almost in disbelief right here. Um, we should probably try and farm up some gear because it's 10 minutes till no PvP ends. And I don't want to be getting caught out when that does happen. Let's put this in the number one slot. Alright, where's that creeper? Make sure this area is clear. This lighting is so derpy. Let's check he's not hiding in here somewhere. Okay, let's get into this iron. At least we've got a good start for iron and potentially future caving down that little space there. So this will be a nice place to kind of set up shop, as it were. That's the plan. Looks like the creeper wandered away. Maybe he got pushed away by the water. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not expert on creeper behavior. Just got to be careful. Nothing drops down on me from above. 
So keep eyes out for that at all times. And we got a decent bit of iron. We got a decent iron haul here. Looks like that was two kind of, yes, two chunks of iron together. Uh, looks like Justin's saying hi, so maybe he's found somebody. Jeez, it's always nervous finding someone <laughs> when there's no PvP and just kind of weighing them up, thinking if I had to fight this person. It's getting dark, so this is where I want to be. Let's make, a, let's make a bunch of crafting tables just save me time down the line so I don't have to think about carrying them around with me. Make a fur nice. Let's put this down. Let's get the iron cooking in there. One, two. Let's get some torches made while we're just chilling in the surface here. So it's a little safer down here. I don't really care that anyone will know that I've been here. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Who knows? All right, let's take a look into here. Ravines within ravines. Do not look at that Enderman, Vic. That would be the worst thing you could do right now. Honestly, make sure I'm route this water through into that ravine so I have another route to follow. This water has helped me descend much faster than I usually would in the UHC. Though that looks like a dangerous place, I must be honest. I must be honest. Must be honest with all you good people right now. Let's, uh, let's grab some of this. Just got to keep listening out for mobs and potentially other players. Get that two of that. What are we thinking? Is it going to be better to staircase down or just take the water rapids? Have a look. I don't think that is somewhere I want to water descend into. I'm probably going to do a little staircase down. Just because if I'm going down, a skeleton starts shooting me. That is a bad news bear. Oh, wait. There's actually the iron up there. Am I going to go for that? Yes, I am. Especially this. All right. Please, skeletons, don't be around. I'm actually going to dig in a little way so I have some more cover. Oh, my. Yeah, we should get all this iron. Then maybe I would be brave enough to go into the ravine. Honestly, still, I'd play it safe. You don't take any damage because, like I say, that sticks with you for the whole time. Literally, half a heart can be life or death in UHC. Let's get that iron ore. Work our way over to this pocket over here. And yeah, I'll probably go across and get that load over there. I think it might only be like one, two, or three, but hey. Every little helps. Every little helps. Grab this iron ore here. Just being very risque on the edges here, but it's risk reward as you see. So hopefully I can get what I need nice and early. Am I gonna go for that? I said I would. I'm gonna I literally don't hear anything hostile around. Get into the clear space here. Right, let's dig down. Get involved in this. Was it literally one? What else? It was one. All right, we have we have made we've made quite the home out of this ravine. And hopefully things stay good. I should replace that torch. Probably make some more while I'm here. Let's throw this like that. There we go. Okay, we should have some good iron armor down here. First episode and no PvP ending in six minutes. These episodes, I don't know if I already said, will be posted strictly every other day. I think I'm going to throw some wood in there to cook that. 15, what should I make with this? A chest plate. Um, let's go for a sword and a helmet or a pickaxe. Oh, wait, I have more iron. Let's make a pickaxe. Let's make a helmet. And I can get the pickaxe once I've got this cooked. Here we go. Let's make another furnace here. Could do with some more coal. But we're off to an alright start. Maybe it'll be daytime again. I can go cow hunting again before I get deep under. Um, make some of this into wood. Alright, there we go. Throw that in. Can actually take half of this out. Put it in there. So I'm going to have some good food. Eat up. Right. Five minutes. We're doing, we're doing it alright. We would be loving life if we had um, enough material for a book right now. That's the only thing to consider. We have the sugar cane. We have the apples. Pretty much, I mean, it's the middle of the night. We're probably best going down, heading down under. In fact, I may as well start that right now. Let's get one more iron in a sec. And be ready to move under. Be ready to rock and roll. All right, there we go. This will just save us time from an early point in the game, which is good news. Um, there are, I can come back and get the rest of it. There are rulings against kind of strip mining downwards. But um, it's basically just, you know, be reasonable with it. Don't, um, don't obviously. Oh, compass tracking. Who's the nearest person to me? 
Rob is 400 blocks out that way. Okay, that's that's quite far away. I'm not too concerned by that. Um, it is worth, what do you call it? It's worth just kind of, just be reasonable with it, pretty much. Don't just dig to, you know, Y13 and strip mine until you have 50 diamonds, that kind of thing. Um, so if you've got a cave going explorer, obviously I'd be dumb to kind of jump straight into that massive ravine. So I'm digging myself an entry point where I can start clearing it out from. Probably want to start getting this way. I think the ravine that I saw from above maybe leads into it a little bit from down here. So let's work our way down and in. Hopefully we'll intersect with the side of it in just a moment here. Probably going to try and get myself some more iron armor as well. Trying to listen out for that water. I feel like I may be a little bit beneath the ravine. Did seem quite deep. Maybe I've gone too far though. Oh geez, that enderman's scary. I think I went a bit too far under, which is fine. I'm going to go and get my stuff from the furnace. And then maybe pop out at a lower level just so I can actually see what I'm working with. Which is all good. Um, so one's going well there. Let's get all of you. Uh, I'm going to make the boots just because I can with this spare iron. Probably should have made a water bucket in hindsight. Let's grab you, Mr. Furnace. Yeah, you've done enough for now. Let's grab you. Alright, let's head down underground. All right, is it this way? Okay, how far do we have to go here? Oh my gosh, please don't tell me I looked at that guy. Uh-oh. Did I? Uh-oh. I think I did. I think I aggroed that Enderman. Oh dear, oh dear. Is he going to TP there? Or is he just screaming for the fun of screaming? Alright. I just need to jump into a too high space if he gets mad. So it goes out, leads out this way. If I hear that zoomp sound, I know I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, there we go. He walked into water. Wow. Choco is ripped. So there we go. Just shows that you can get... Like I'm, I may seem like I'm being stupidly, you know, um, careful. But a lot of people in this, you know, in UHC, they die to mobs. They die to, you know, lava. They die to falling damage. So, you know, bad stuff happens, let me tell you that. It ain't all fun in games. Gotta be careful there's no mobs up and above, like skeletons or such. This is a good cave, though. Right, let's get involved in some of this iron and... Iron and... Uh, Coal. That water actually may have saved me from that Enderman. I think the Enderman walked into it and it makes them teleport around manically and lose their aggro. So that's good stuff. Alright, let's get all of this. Let's try and get my full armor up nice, full iron armor up nice and quickly. Um, am I gonna... I actually brought down my supplies. What I'm gonna do is get some more torches going. May as well actually put a furnace down. Episode 1 ending soon. We're off to a very nice start. But like I say, can seem like you've got an awesome start, but you can still get okay old by anything. You can be super stacked and you know stuff can happen. You can get really unfortunate with mobs. You can get someone sneaking up on you. And you can be game over. Just like that. Right, let's make sure this is all lit up on this level. I feel somewhat safe down here, but I think any sense of safety should be taken with apprehension. If that made any sense at all. Probably best to just wall this off, just so I can get at that material there. Alright, let's just get at these. And this should be enough to get those iron leggings. Honestly, shouldn't be digging straight above me. Never know, might have a lava flow pop through there. Might have a mob pop through there. So it's worth staying at arm's length away. Let's get the coal. Do I want a lava bucket? Lava buckets are pretty huge. Although, the thing is, I don't know how it would work with my ping on the server. Would I manage to kill someone with a lava bucket? Or would it just not go down in time? That's the thing. Usually, you know, we've done a lot of these partnered in the past. And it's nice to have a teammate with good connection. I'll tell you that much. Let's place down another one. Oh my god, that bat scared the life out of me. Let's honestly just make a stack of furnaces. Alright, episode one is about to end right here. Got some gold over there, which is good. Key, key material in your So Hopefully you guys have enjoyed episode one. We'll be back the day after tomorrow for episode two. 
of uh, this UHC. Thank you and goodbye.